The king's relationship with his youngest son is going through a difficult phase, and it has been more than a year since his grandchildren have seen Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet in person. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are currently in Europe, but there are no plans to visit Charles and Camilla at Balmoral. But it can now be revealed that the king is keeping tabs on the young family 5,000 miles away in Southern California by reading their local newspaper, the Montecito Journal. Welcome to Royal Experts, if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. By coincidence, the magazine's columnist Richard Minyards is a former Fleet Street royal correspondent and still has excellent sources. The fact that King Charles read the paper was revealed by his colleague Ellen Whiteread. In a letter to the editor, she described readers as a group that includes, according to columnist Richard Minyards, King Charles II of England. The former Wall Street Journal reporter ignored the fact that Charles III is also King of Scotland. She was describing how she met the Duchess of Sussex at a grocery store in Montecito, where they chatted briefly. I will not sell the location of my early morning meeting, nor the portrait that my husband took, Reed said. I will not reveal who Mrs. Mountbatten Windsor was shopping with, what she was wearing, what handbag she was carrying, what her hairstyle was, or what she bought. But it was the revelation that King Charles is a regular reader that was most surprising. Miniads regularly features information about Harry and Meghan in the magazine's Grapevine column. However, in his latest column, the expatriate Britain reflected on two sad royal occasions, the first anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death, and the 26th anniversary of the car accident that killed Princess Diana. Westminster Abbey Miniads wrote, Elizabeth was a very unique person, and it was a great honor to meet her several times during my career, especially during the Silver Jubilee year of 1977, when I had covered Windsor for the London Daily Mail before that. He moved to New York in 1978 to become gossip columnist for Rupert Murdoch's Star magazine. He announced that he had sailed into Penobscot Bay at Dark Harbor, Maine when he heard the news of Diana's death, adding, I last spoke to Diana two months ago at a socially crowded reception at Christie's, her New York auction house, which was selling her evening dresses. For charity, an event I covered for CNN and ABC News. It was an extraordinary moment in my life as I later joined an old friend and colleague, the late Barbara Walters, in covering her globally broadcast funeral at Westminster Abbey in London for the ABC. Thanks for watching until the end.